In VectorWorks Spotlight 2020, there have been some huge improvements with the seating section tool. Not only have we improved current workflows by adding more drawing modes, the ability to save seating styles, and added more control for focusing seats, we've also added a new aisle tool. First, let's discuss the new methods for creating seating layouts. Instead of relying on a single menu command for seating sections, in VectorWorks 2020, you now have a seating section tool in the event planning toolset. You can still create seating sections from pre-existing shapes in your document with the first mode of the tool, but we've also added oval, rectangle, and polyline creation modes. As soon as you complete drawing the seating section, you will notice a new focus line graphic, which offers more control when focusing seats, especially with curved seating diagrams. Along with the new focus line control, you can also class the boundary and seat number of the seating section tool, giving you better control of your graphical output. These improvements are going to greatly enhance your experience when using this tool and cut down on your drafting time, improving efficiency when making last-minute changes to seating configurations. Once you've configured the seating section with a correct symbol, spacing, alignment, and numbering, you can save this configuration as a style. Similar to symbols, styles give you the option to save and preserve several plugin parameter settings to keep consistency throughout your project, but also offer the benefit to have certain fields adjustable, such as width, height, or spacing. Styles can ultimately be used as the base setting for creating new seating sections, update existing seating, or saved and used again with future projects through the Resource Manager. Now, using the Data Tag tool found in the Dims and Notes toolset, you can easily customize and display your seating section information anywhere you would like in your document, which will automatically update when changes are made to the seating section. The biggest improvement to the seating section tool is the interaction with the new aisle tool. To create an aisle from existing shapes, draw a rectangle or a polyline shape to define your seating aisle. Instead of having to use the clip service command to create your aisle for your section, you can draw any shape to define your aisle and move it around your seating section, or use the reshape tool to give live updates and precise numbering to the seating section. This is extremely useful when needing to make last minute changes for various seating arrangements. Do remember that the aisle needs to be on the same layer as the seating section object. One of the great benefits of this tool is it can be used to define aisles in one large overall seating section, or you can use the split mode to cut up and divide sections of seating for specific numbering and naming configurations. The new additions to the seating section tool are going to greatly improve your workflow and add more flexibility when adjusting layouts to meet fire marshal codes.